Yesterday's attack on a UN convoy by a crowd in a pro-Bagbo stronghold in Abidjan underlines its delicate mission in Ivory Coast. One peacekeeper was wounded in the arm by a machete. One of the convoy's three vehicles was set on fire. The UN says the situation returned to normal when the army chief of staff loyal to Bagbo intervened. The convoy was travelling through the area on its way back from another part of the country. They tried to cross and everyone was on alert. Everyone came out and we made them go back to their base where they came from. They should just go back there, we don't need them here. The UN condemned the attack, saying it remained determined to continue its mission. Bagbo has demanded that UN troops leave the West African country, accusing them of backing his rival. But the Security Council has extended its mandate. It's very dangerous, very dangerous, because uh, when police uh, stop us, they uh, make uh, their weapons. Papier, autorisation. Your papers, do you have authorization? asks the policeman. The leader of the UN operation in Ivory Coast has accused Bagbo loyalists of increasingly hostile acts against its peacekeepers, whose task looks increasingly difficult.